Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at how we use Windows Remote Assistance. It's basically a feature that allows you to basically help somebody else who might be having some trouble with their PC so you can remotely log into their PC and help them or the other way around, you can invite somebody to come into your PC and help them. For example, an IT support technician somewhere else around the world or in your office somewhere else. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to go here, allow remote desktop con connections, there we go, make sure you have allow remote connections to this computer, also make sure you have this ticked, that's the remote assistance that we're talking about, click advanced. And then you can set basically how many days or how long do you want to keep this assistance invitation open for. Okay, allow the computer to be controlled remotely. That's fine. Create invitations that can only be used from computers running Windows Vista or later. That's a little bit more secure. Okay, click OK. Click OK. That's fine. Then we need to click the Windows button with the R button we'll get this little prompt which is the run so it's the Windows key the little key which is next to control function and between alt okay and then type in msra.exe click OK and we get this window popping up now we're gonna invite someone you trust okay there's two ways use easy connect we'll show you that quickly okay that'll do a little diagnostic and then pop up this window with a password and then you need to give this password to your trusted support technician person or admin. We're going to show you now the other way. Again Windows R, MSRA, okay invite someone to help you. This time we're going to use an invitation file, okay it'll be called invitation, save it to the desktop, Okay, and then basically you have this file over here which you can send as an email to that person or you can give it on a memory stick etc. Okay, now we're going to have a quick look at how we can log in to someone else's PC once we have this invitation file. Okay, now we'll have a quick look at how to connect using the invitation file. We've got on our other computer set up remote assistance and the invitation file has been created and it's now being sent to this computer and we're using it on this computer. So basically, we shall open up there, enter in the password, click OK. And then it's basically saying waiting for acceptance. We shall now look on the other computer over here. As you can see, it's got a little prompt saying, would you like to allow Windows 10 Ninja to connect to your computer, which is the username of the other computer. Okay, say yes. And we'll go back in here. Request control. Okay. And then in the other, click yes. And now we will have access to this computer. You can open up. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope that helped. Thank you.